What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can install Rust on Arch Linux. The process is actually super simple. First of all, we'll be installing Rust. There's two different ones that we can install using sudo pacman tac s, that being Rust. If you only plan on running and installing software made with Rust, otherwise you should run sudo pacman s rust up in order to install a really good backend for developers. I'll be installing the latter, confirming it, and there we go. Once this is run, we'll be choosing the stable Rust environment using Rust up, default, stable, but there are a few other options here. This will download Cargo, Clippy, and everything else that's required for you to build and develop Rust applications. There we go. Now we'll be making an example folder. I'll create a folder called Rust Test, CD into it, and we'll be running VS Code in this location. Once it fires up, I'll trust the authors and start up a new terminal using Control J. Inside of here, we'll be running cargo init hyphen hyphen bin full stop in order to create our binary application here. This will create a git ignore cargo file as well as source where we can start building our main Rust application. At this point, by default, it's just a simple hello world. In order to run this, run cargo run just like that, it'll build and run our program. Super simple. Now, if you want to get super advanced and use mold as a linker, which should be much faster than the default Rust linker, then I'll be showing you how to do that now. However, at this point, you can clock out as you have installed Rust properly and are able to start developing. The absolute simplest way to install it is using yay. If you have that installed, simply run yay to update your system. Then we'll run yay mold as such. We can then choose, I'll be choosing one, hit yes and confirm. This will download and set up mold on our system. Now if we run mold, we should see a response or mold help even telling us about it on our system. This is a ton easier than following the installation steps on the mold GitHub page, which involves building it yourself, etc. Yay is a powerful tool and I'd recommend you use that instead just to avoid issues. Now to actually use mold for Rust, the easiest way is placing it in our Rust configuration so that it automatically runs for all of our different projects. In a new terminal, I'll be using Envim, but you can use nano tilde slash dot cargo slash config dot toml. If you don't already have this file, it should be created now. In here, we'll be copying and pasting from the description down below this bit of command here. This tells us to use mold whenever we're building or running in cargo. Now, of course, you can see path to mold isn't set. So instead, we'll be using in a new terminal where mold, which should tell us where it's installed. It's user bin mold. So we'll set that here. We'll use user bin mold. There we go. Now we can save and quit. And the next time we try to cargo build, it should be using mold. If instead you just want to test it out before actually setting it up in your configuration file to run everywhere, we can use in the terminal rust flags equals capital C linker equals clang capital C link arg equals hyphen fuse hyphen ld equals slash user bin mold, which is where mold is installed. Correct. Yes, user bin mold, come user bin mold, close quotes. And assuming we typed it correctly, when we follow this with cargo build, it should use mold to build our project. That's it. It's super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. You now know how to install Rust, create a development environment, and even use mold for faster builds. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.